So we're doing a little bit of urban foraging. I just bought this house in kind of an urban setting and uh, hanging out, drinking a beer on the porch. And we have this beautiful oak tree in the front yard and saw these mushrooms uh, under the oak. And this is actually a choice edible uh, chestnut bolete. So it's mid July right now. And um, you'll see this tawny cap, brown tawny cap. The stem is white to brownish. See this one's kind of more brown color. This one's just white to brown. And the tubes right around, it's a bolete, so it has tubes on the bottom. And the tubes on the bottom are sunken uh, next to the stalk. So as you get really close to the stalk, the, uh, the tubes are, are sunken in. Um, and let's, let's go check them out uh, down the way right here. Uh, they're growing like kind of in a cluster right under this oak tree. And um, these are great, great, delicious mushrooms. I could just pull them up and then uh, just kind of remove the cap like that. Uh, remove the, uh, the bo bottom of the stem. Uh, just kind of break it and good to go. And these are amazing in stir fries, just like solo or, um, you know, with, with other things. And something like this, I would just leave where it's kind of like browned and bruised. Um, I'd leave that behind. And another feature is that this mushroom a lot of times starts to get hollow towards the uh, base of the stem. Um, so chestnut bolete starts fruiting in July and then through maybe September, October, uh, typically under oaks or other hardwoods. Um, and you'll find it mostly in the forest, but we're lucky to find it just right here in the front yard next to a kind of downtown area. So mushroom foraging can happen anywhere.